In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this kind of spotlight effect in HitFilm Express. Now, probably some of you are thinking that it's very complex, but actually it's very simple. Okay. But before going to proceed, make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So stay with me and let's begin. Alright, we are on HitFilm Express as you can see. So I'm going to make first one composite shot. Okay, let's set my duration 5 seconds. And in this composite shot, I'm going to drag this video clip. As you can see, it's a video clip of night scene because here we are going to make the spotlight so that uh, my spotlight effect becomes more visible. Okay, so if you select any night scene, then it will be better for you. Okay, so now here I'm going to make the duplicate of the same video clip. Okay. So this is my duplicate and in this duplicate layer I'm going to rename it as a say spotlight. Uh, let's disable the bottom layer for a moment. Okay, so this is my top layer which I just rename it as a spotlight and here I'm going to apply the circular mask. You go to the circular mask property here and from here you just select elliptical mask. No need to be perfect circle just a kind of like an elliptical circle I think it would be okay so under the max property you uh, make some minor feather so here is a mask as you can see now you just enable the bottom layer so when you enable the bottom layer you can see now any difference now to get the spotlight effect you select the top layer and here under the effects you search brightness So this is my brightness and contrast property you select here and paste in the top layer under the brightness settings you just increase the value of the brightness a little bit so once you increase this you can see our elliptical mask here which is going to be the spotlight effect you can increase the intensity uh, according to your choice so as you can see our spotlight effect is done but here i'm going to animate this effect now any random position so for that purpose you select the mask and uh, Another transformation of the mask, here you can see the position property. So from here, you can position your mask according to your choice. Okay. So here I'm going to activate one keyframe. Say after a few frames, uh, I'm going to change this position from here to here. And again, a few frames later, you can change the position. The positions are completely up to you. So if you play this now, you can see our spotlight effect is moving. You see that? It seems like somebody is pointing light from the top. But here one thing is missing. So as you can see this is a spotlight. So if there is a spotlight then there has to be always a beam of light. So that is missing here. So we have to make this beam of light. Okay. So how to make this kind of beam of light so for that purpose i'm going to make another composite shot okay so let's rename it as a say beam light let's keep the duration as five seconds and in this beam light composition i'm going to make one plain layer okay you select the color white for a moment and now you again go back to the main composite shot and in this main composite shot, you drag the beam light composite shot. Okay, now for a moment, I'll just reduce the opacity so that I can see the background. Now, under the beam light composite shot, I'm going to apply the freehand mask. You select the freehand mask, and from here to here, I've just drawn the mask. You make your opacity again back to 100. Under the mask property, you just apply a minor feather. So here I'm going to reduce the opacity. Something like this. So as you can see, it's a kind of like a beam of light. But here our beam of light should also move according to a spotlight effect. Okay. So let's go to the, uh, the beginning frame. So first of all, you select the beam of light composite shot. So before going to do any kind of keyframing activity, first of all, uh, I'm going to change the anchor point. 
of this beam of light so as you can see and this is my transform property and here i'm going to sense my anchor point i just change my anchor point so that i can apply the rotation based on the anchor point here you see that now you can go to the transform property and uh, under the position here we activate one keyframe and say at this position here i'm also going to play with the rotation property so here also uh, at the beginning i'm going to activate the rotation keyframe okay so at this position let's activate the rotation keyframe as well plus i am also going to play with the position property so if i play this now you can see my both position and rotation keyframes are working at the same time you see that now from here i am going to make another keyframe so right now i am in rotation property you again go to the position property as well so that my both rotation and uh, position property work together so i think it's perfect so if i play this you can see our beam of light is properly following the path of the spotlight i think at this point some minor adjustments need so you can select to the beam of light here so it's perfect now it seems like somebody is pointing light from the top from the top of a building okay so as you can see it's a very simple white light plain light you can play with different different flavors okay for example say if you go to the again beam light composite shot instead of selecting any white color if you select any other color say this kind of blue okay by doing this you will see our blue color is applied here and at the same time you also need to change the same color on the spotlight you can also apply the fractal noise okay so let's get back to the white color again and uh, i'm going to apply the set matte effect here and let's see what comes out so this is my fractal noise and you apply under the fractal noise uh, you can pick any kind of presets so let's say say energy i'm going to make some animation let's go to the seed property and have some minor animation under the color if you change the color from white to any other color you can play with the exposure as well now you go back to the main composition and see what is the outcome so if you increase the opacity you will see the impact of the fractal noise that's why it's very important to have a separate composite shot so that you can work any kind of effect okay i also made the same kind of beam of light in my bat signal video effect if you have not watched the video you can watch this it's very simple and but more realistic let me know in the comments how you found this video if it is helpful then smash the like button leave your comments and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon i will see you in the next video till then goodbye